Ace of Spades. Uh, first thing just to say, it's true for a lot of Motorhead stuff, was uh, they tuned down to E flat. Um, I think it's to save Lemmy's voice. But anyway, just uh, as a point of reference, in case you try and play along to the song, I've seen a number of videos where they're playing, um, like they play on the wrong fret because they're, they're in standard tuning. So it's E flat. Um, <clears throat> so that famous riff it starts off with, and again, it's not, uh, when it's played a lot of times, it's covered, they sort of like, to get the authentic Lemmy feel, I've covered this in another video recently, but um, he's very much playing across all the strings. So this is when a lot of uh, control comes in, particularly on the um, left hand. This might look my right, my, my right hand because it turns the video around. I still haven't figured out how to work, work that one out, but uh, on the left hand or right, or well, if you're left handed, it'd be right hand. But anyway, the control is on the fretting hand. And um, so get the third finger in place on the seventh fret and you, your approach note, the that one, it's going to be first finger, but just set yourself up there. So you've got a third finger on the seventh fret of the A string and the first finger over that. Thumb is resting on the E, so though you're hitting it, it's choked. And the third finger is also covering the top two strings. So when you push it down, you can hit all the strings, but you're only going to get that seventh fret, uh, the E, on the seventh fret on the A string. You're going to get this. It's worth just, um, just practicing that. Choking is something, choking as it as it's called or whatever, dampening or whatever you want to call it, is something that will come uh, instinctively, it'll become natural. But first you've got to really sort of break it down, do it slowly and just build it up. It will get in the um, muscle memory of the fingers. And then when we've got that down pat, we want to start getting the um, the strumming pattern. Again, it's across all four strings. I mean, Lemmy's style was extremely, you know, was well, as hard as, as and as hard and as aggressive it was. It was also extremely accurate. But if some that you know, if you see that 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 that's, that's all that's all up to a point. But it's not going to give the true Lemmy um, style of playing. So we want to be playing across all four strings for this one. So. <laughs> slowing the rhythm down, something like that. Then start to speed it up. And that's the, the intro riff there. Uh, the, those two notes just used in loads of Motorhead songs, you know, Stone Dead Forever and you know, loads of them just with a different rhythm. But anyway, this is Ace of Spades, so those two notes there. Playing across all four strings, and that gives you the sort the, the, the Lemmy power, as it were. Um, and then as everything crashes in, he does a, he does a sort of a. I mean, he liked all that Lemmy, he was dead flash, you know, you'd often I'd see him, he'd turn his hand like, you know, that sort of thing and stuff. I've seen that on a live Ace of Spades. Um, but yeah, so it'd be sort of like. Right, and he goes up to the G. Now this is a common <coughs> a common thing people do. They go they do chords on the bass and they don't they they go like if you like a or you know here. That's the guitar part. Fast Eddie Clark, well when it was recorded, Fast Eddie Clark was hitting a G, marking out the bars. Lemmy was keeping the beat going, he was locked in with the double bass drums. You can play it on the D, the fifth fret of the D. Personally I like um because it's usually when I've played, I've usually been singing as well, and I like my hand up here. So I go to the uh, tenth fret on the A. So I'm just moving up three, three frets. Then. 
that one. So if that's more, it's easier to do when you're not singing it, is to mark those um, sort of the emphasis that it's all oh, the same to be filthy animal marking, uh, doing the accents. So there's an awful lot of, um, again, getting to the habit of having the, the thumb just wrapped over the, the bottom E and the third finger, as well as holding down that note, it's choking uh, those top two so you can hit across all. Then that's more. You can take that finger away to get the sort of, um, to accent it, but you also, the, the picking hand is... Get that. No slow right down. All the same to me. The same to me. And go. If you like to gamble, I'll tell you how to do that. It's all the same to me. It's all the same to me. That's kind of simplifying a bit. He's going to be using approach notes, like on the main riff. You could do an approach note. Well, it'd be a good idea to do approach note. There's a. Then down to D. Let's carry on. Now uh, here you can do if you want to do a as I'm doing octave. Open D. Open D, 7th fret on the G. And just, that can be your approach note there. And the thumb this time hooking over too. That's if you want to be, you know, you can just, it's just doubling the note. You can do that. Or... And then um, uh, you've got the, you know I'm going to lose, thanks for fools. You can do chords, well, you can do chords whenever you like, but uh, it's good for a sort of, makes it more punchy as it were, it's just fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D, that. Going to lose and then gamblings for fools, but that's the way I like it, baby. And it all crashes in. Oh, <laughs> what are you playing that song? It's 26 years or something. And that Phil Fanwell did a lot of that. The drummer Phil Animal Taylor did a lot of that hi hat work, and Lemmy would lock in with that. Don't forget the Joker. So that's uh, that's the pre uh, previous the solo section, solo section. So going to lose and gambling's for fools, but that's the way I like it, baby. That could be just downstrokes. Back to strumming. Then the solo, uh, underneath the solo, the chords uh, A and B. And then we tend it to go up, so we go on to the D, 7th fret. And again, just downstrokes it. A good idea, anything that's like accentuated, staccato, that. Do downstrokes, that will sort of give you the, the power. And as I say, if you've got, if you're um, muffling, choking the right strings, then you can do, you can, you can far away if you're picking hand and you're not gonna get any other awkward notes clashing. And, uh, <coughs> 
on the um album version because there's you know the few guitar overdubs but live let me might if anything where it goes up to the higher reaches on like the d for let me that would start to sound a bit lonely <laughs> it's just a single note so you might very well uh do a chord there so just do the the fifth on the g the single note there that's, that's a sort of a question of uh, personal preference as you like and that, that one there that's when you normally do the live you do the rundown guitar solo That's, a, that's the fifth fret there or the tenth fret. So just to reiterate, definitely not that. This keeps it it keeps going. Or that. And that's kind of the song we almost at the end. I see it in your eyes. Take my breath and die. The only thing you see, you know, it's gonna be the ace of spades, the ace of spades. Now here's some sort of thinking. That kind of, it doubles up the beat. Again, playing very much the hi-hat. They might have done a little bass run there, I think. But I want, I'll leave that aside. I just want to come to chop the rhythm, really. So, and then, then again, anything where you sort of you mark, you mark in the uh, the card. So, downstrokes are generally pretty cool because you just. So as long as you've got the um, appropriate strings dampened, then you can really give it some, you know, and get that. You can mark it out. Let me start. It might even be chords, you know. Um, so that's just, that's a, a, a look at the Ace of Spades there. Um, a few, very, I mean, there's various ways to play it and stuff, but I, I kind of said the do's, and the, the do's and the don'ts, as it were, that are actually on the, the way it's actually played on the record. Live, Lemony, like I say, he'd thicken it with bass chords and stuff, especially if it's just the one other guitar and it's doing the solo. Um, but yeah, that's the Ace of Spades there. I hope it was of uh, some benefit. Cheers.